Facebook and said, Mama, what are you vlogging out there? I'm talking about cleaning the house. Keep playing. This is gonna take me forever to edit. Welcome back to my channel. I'm finally sitting down and filming the Q&A from three weeks ago. We have been incredibly busy. We had traveled for Nora's birthday, we traveled for vacation, and like I said in my last vlog, now we're home and we're gonna try to just slow down and be for a while. Settle into our routine and just kind of coast until the holidays. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Kristen and I am married to a wonderful man named Matt and we have three children, Logan, Wyatt, and Nora. They are four, two, and one. Oh, and come see my oven. Oh, I'll come see it in a minute. I am currently outside in the backyard with the two boys. They are four and two and the one-year-old is taking a nap in her room. It is officially fall, but it is still very hot here in Arkansas where we live. It is currently, uh, in the 80s and I am kind of sweating out here. <sighs> I try on my channel really hard to just be real and be myself. I deal kind of with some anxiety, so sometimes that's kind of hard for me. I get kind of weird in front of the camera. <sighs> I make these weird faces all the time. <sighs> so, but like I said, I try to just be myself. And sometimes it's easier for me to just be myself in front of my camera right here in my own house than it is like out in public when I get really weird. A little bit more about me. I grew up in Texas. I lived in the same really small town until I graduated high school and I moved to Arkansas to go to college at a wonderful school that I love so much. And that is where I met my husband who is, was also born and raised in Texas. It took both of us six years to get our bachelor's degrees because we were uh, majoring in college a little bit more than we were in our majors. Um, but if either one of us had graduated on time, we would not have met each other. So it was towards the end of our college careers that we did meet and fall in love and get married. And I actually took a semester off to get married and then had one last semester to finish. And my degree is in English, not certified to teach, just English degree, which is pretty useless, but that's okay because I'm staying at home anyways. Um, his degree is in political science, and he doesn't use that degree either. So, but he is currently, if you probably if you watched any of my videos, you may have mentioned me talking about him doing homework or writing a paper. He is currently getting his master's right now, and is going to be a big career change for him coming up in a year or two, which is probably going to include a big move for us. So, lots of big, big things coming up with that, and I don't think I've ever mentioned that here on my channel. So we got married and we had a, I had a semester of college left and then we moved farther north in Arkansas just a little bit and on our first anniversary I announced that I was pregnant with my son Logan. Two years to the day later uh, from Logan's birthday, Wyatt was born, they actually share a birthday. And then 16 months later Nora was born. Fast forward a year, a couple weeks from that and here I am now. So we are officially done with children. Um, I am mourning kind of the end of babies, but um, I am I am comfortable with the decision to not have any more, but it's still sad. It's still sad to not have any more babies. But Nora is still a baby. I don't count turning one being a toddler. She's a baby and she's gonna stay a baby as long as I can keep her that way. I'm finding it really hard to talk about myself, which is strange since I have a YouTube channel and I sit around and talk to myself all the time. But um, yeah, I'm actually a very private person, which is another strange thing about a YouTuber, but I have found that a lot of YouTubers are extremely private people. Um, I'm an introvert, very much so. But I like to think of myself as a silly, funny person sometimes. Um, I think of myself as crafty, and I haven't done very much crafting at all in the last few years, but I know that I will get back to that. I'm gonna go ahead now and jump into the questions. Okay, someone asked where do we live, and we live in Arkansas. I'll just go ahead and say central Arkansas. Somewhere in there. How long have you and your husband been married? Uh, next weekend is our anniversary, and we've been married for six years. Do you have any tips for getting cleaning done with three kids at home? Well, no. 
<laughs> just kidding. Um, yes, I like to involve the kids as much as possible. Nap time is a great time to clean. I actually never clean during afternoon big nap time where everybody naps. That is my me time. But Nora's morning nap time is a great time for me to clean because the boys are pretty good about playing together on their own. And when it comes to cleaning up, you know, anything, the floors and all the stuff that they've drug out, I really get them to help. I think it's really important for the kids to help clean up, especially the messes that they make. Baby wearing is also a great tip. When Nora is just cranky and doesn't want to play, I put her on my back. It is incredibly hot out here, you guys. Like, ah, fall, you let me down. So my tips for cleaning with kids at home will be clean when the baby is napping. Unless you're, unless you're newly postpartum, then you sit down and rest and just let your house be dirty because postpartum, I'll preach on that any day. Take it easy, your house will still be there. It'll still be there. So my tips for cleaning with kids in the house is to clean when littlest one is napping, if you have multiple ages, get them involved and just try to speed clean. Just don't make it take forever. Set a timer and just give yourself, you know, 10 minutes here and 15 minutes there. And when the time's up, just, just stop and go spend time with them and come back to it. Okay. How did you come to faith in Christ? Well, I was raised in a very strong Christian home. Um, my parents are both excellent Christian role models and so I was actually saved as a child and so I have a really strong upbringing you know I think that's a part of the question what about growing up slash your family yeah I was raised with a really strong Christian foundation and I am I'm very thankful for that when slash where did you meet your husband I already answered that we actually are actually the story we met is pretty cute and sometimes I think about filming our love story like how we met and what happened would anybody be interested in that at all? I don't know. It's a it's a pretty fun little story. But we, we met in college. Did you have a career before you became a stay-at-home mom? No, I did not. Let's see. So I, like I said, we got married and I had a semester of college left and I was waiting tables at the time. I, I, I don't sit next to you. Okay, sit next to me. Let's, so like I said. We, I don't sit next to you. Okay, sit next to me, baby. <laughs> so after we got married I had a semester left in college and I was still waiting tables at the time and then right at the very end of my last semester um, my husband got transferred in his job so we ended up moving and I kind of just took a break a little bit uh, for a couple of months in the summer and then I started looking for jobs in libraries. And then I started applying for just anything because I wasn't hearing back from anybody and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then, um, then I was pregnant with my youngest, I mean, I mean not my youngest, then I was pregnant with uh, Logan and I really, I didn't want to start a career at that point because I knew I wanted to stay home with my children. So I just got a job uh, cashiering at Hobby Lobby and I worked that for about six months just to kind of save up some extra money before he was born and then that was the last job I had, so I haven't worked in about four and a half years in the career field, so I mean, I work every day. Some of your favorites, food, hobbies, food, I love food. Seriously, I just love food. I love like good home cooking, but I also love Tex-Mex. I waited, the restaurant I waited tables at for years in college was a Tex-Mex restaurant and seriously I could eat there like every day. And that is always a good, good sign about a restaurant is the people that work there, will they eat at that restaurant? And let me tell you, people that worked at the restaurant with me, we would always come in early and just eat that food like, all the time. And thank goodness I was young because I would put on 20 pounds now. I ate Tex-Mex every day, <laughs> but it's so good. Chips and salsa, guacamole, mm, all of that. Anything on a tortilla. Hobbies, I used to love to read, and last night I saw something on Facebook about uh, a little funny meme about the last book you read, and I get to thinking, and I cannot remember the last book I read on my own. So a couple of years ago, I tried a challenge to read one book every month, and I failed, and that was, probably two years ago and 
I do. I miss reading. I also like to be crafty. I like to crochet. Um, just other any random little craft things. I, I don't know. YouTube's a pretty big hobby for me right now. My question is, will you have any more children? No. <laughs> However, that being said, God is really in control there, but as far as our family planning is, we are we're done with three. Um, I love babies, I love pregnancy, um, I love having babies, but I think my plate is full right now, and um, I feel like our family is complete, so no, sadly. It's such a weird mixture, like I'm certain that this is, this is what I want, you know, I'm certain that I'm done, but then I'm like, uh, no more babies? Okay, um, let's see. Are you homeschooling all three of your children when they become of age? The truth is, I'm doing preschool homeschool right now, but I'm not 100% sure if we will um, continue to homeschool Logan next year or not. We're really just doing it, you know, year by year basis right now. So, only time will tell about homeschooling all my children. I, part of me would love to, and part of me is not so sure. So, we'll just wait and see. Were you a Christian? Were you always a Christian? Did you grow up in a Christian household? Yes. I already answered that. Did you plan to stay home with your kids? I definitely wanted to be able to stay home with my kids, and I'm very lucky to be able to. Alright, and then the last question is, favorite devotional or way to study the Bible? I'm not super great at reading my Bible. Um, Right now what I do is just kind of read and highlight and try to read slowly through what I'm reading. I don't really have a favorite devotional either. But I do have, hopefully soon, a guest vlogger who has a great um, video on Bible journaling that I would love to share it soon. Alright you guys, I am really bad at talking about myself. I didn't realize. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your questions. If you have any more questions, leave them below and I will see you guys next time and hopefully soon I'll have my video about road trip tips with littles. Thanks for watching guys!